Hi, and welcome to week 13 of U.S. History. So, this week we will be taking a exploration into the crucial events in U.S. history, particularly the aftermath of the Civil War and the transformative era of Reconstruction. So, we'll begin by carefully analyzing the final events of the Civil War So, as a nation neared the end of the Civil War, a series of profound moments unfolded, excuse me, shaping the destiny of the United States. The surrender at Appomattox Courthouse in 1865 marked a symbolic end to the conflict, with General Robert E. Lee acknowledging the reality that the Confederate cause was lost. However, the path to reunification was fraught with challenges, and we'll explore the complexities of the negotiations and agreements that led to the war's official conclusion. We'll then move beyond the battlefield and assess the profound impact of the Civil War on both the North and the South. This conflict, while devastating, was not merely a military struggle. It had far-reaching consequences that extended into the fabric of American society. So in the aftermath of the Civil War, the North and the South faced distinct challenges and opportunities. The economic, social, and political landscapes of both regions were reshaped in profound ways. For the North, the war had propelled industrialization and technology, technological advancements, laying the foundation for its emergence as an economic power horse. Meanwhile, the South grappled with the devastation wrought by the conflict, including the economic collapse of the plantation system and the societal upheaval resulting from the abolition of slavery. Moving forward, we'll delve into the tragic events surrounding Abraham Lincoln's assassination and its immediate aftermath. So on the evening of April 14th, 1865, President Abraham Lincoln attended Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C., where he was tragically assassinated by John Wilkes Booth. The nation was plunged into mourning as it grappled with the loss of a leader at a crucial juncture in history. Beyond the immediate shock, we'll explore the ripple effects of Lincoln's assassination on the nation's psyche and the subsequent legal proceedings against those involved. Moving on towards the end of the week, we will turn our attention to the complexities of President Andrew Johnson's reconstruction plan. As the nation sought to rebuild after the war, President Andrew Johnson faced the daunting task of guiding the reconstruction process. Johnson's plan aimed to swiftly reintegrate the southern states into the Union but it encountered significant challenges. We'll examine the nuances of Johnson's approach, including the controversies surrounding his leniency towards former Confederate leaders and the clashes with the radical Republicans in Congress. Lastly, we will investigate the establishment of the Freedmen's Bureau, a critical institution during the challenging years of Reconstruction. Amid the complexities of Reconstruction, the establishment of the Freedmen's Bureau in 1865 was a pivotal development. This federal agency was tasked with providing assistance to newly emancipated individuals, including education, employment opportunities, and social services. We'll explore the significant impact of the Freedmen's Bureau on the lives of formerly enslaved individuals and its role in shaping the early stages of the post-Civil War South. So to conclude, the aftermath of the Civil War and the era of Reconstruction were multifaceted and transformative periods in American history. Analyzing these events provides not only a historical lens through which to view the past, but also valuable insights into the resilience and challenges faced by a nation in the pursuit of unity and progress. I look forward to working with you all next week. Uh, We will utilize, of course, many of our resources, including our Beyond Classroom, 
resource, as well as various PowerPoint presentations and other academic resources for our most benefit. So I want to thank you, and I look forward to seeing you all. Thank you.